What's happening ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a little tutorial on be quiet back there using movie studio because I couldn't find anything about what I'm talking what I'm about to talk about and so I figured I'd put something out there and also mention yeah, make this go away too that a person by the name of Moody movie studio Zen I believe is what the name of the uh, person is uh, what he goes by in his website and channel and all that stuff is actually the way I found out how to fix this problem now whoa whoa easy there fella easy there when I first started movie studio I'm using movie studio to render out my videos I realized right away that there was a bit of a motion blur problem when I would move around and do things you could see a very visible motion blur. get get off the fence slime thank you you don't see it right now however oh hey bat welcome to, to the blurry portion of the program this portion of the video is rendered the old way I was doing it now I figured it out very quickly and I'm going to be using cam studio to record movie studio hopefully we'll see we're gonna try this and see if this works to demonstrate what happened when you use the process that I have figured out you have to do to get a smooth whoa a smooth video playback after you've rendered so stay tuned for that but in any case, now that you've seen the clips and I've finally gotten the screen recording software to do what I want it to do, we are going to go ahead and show you how to make it go from the blurry clip that you saw at the end to the nice, clean, not so blurry clip that you saw at the beginning. Now, Movie Studio is by default set to do that. Uh, there's a little thing called resample that is automatically enabled and if we grab a clip for the hundred millionth time put it in there and if you play this back it'll look fine there won't be any issue whatsoever with it it'll look nice and 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 just it'll work out really well when you render it though you will see it it's the resample is filling in the frames and it causes it to have that motion blur and that is just the that's just how it is by default now there is an edit there is an option in here overall for switches but it doesn't seem to affect the tracks you have to go in and each track that you add in here that is playing video like like normal you would have to disable that resample now to do that just highlight just go over the clip the track that you want to do that with right click go to switches and down here you have the smart resample force resample and disable we want to disable it and that will remove the blur from the final render now you have to do it for each video My daughter is not sleeping like she's supposed to I can hear her if you go in here and drink it drag another clip down You'll see, once again, Smart Resample is turned on. That's just how it is by default. If there's an option to turn it off, I'm not aware of it. But you'd have to disable the resample. And when you render this video out, it will look nice and smooth. No problems whatsoever. Now, I learned this from a guy who goes by the name of Movie Studio Zen. He puts out a lot of videos on Movie Studio and Sony Vegas. And I learned a lot of my editing techniques from him so I will put a link in his to his website in the description and that will help you out if you're someone who uses movie studio you know give his his videos a look they're really helpful they're really easy to understand he explains everything really really well so that is going to do it that is how you make that v motion blur go away and I did that like I said in the clips I believe because I couldn't find anything about it anywhere she is squealing away in there no information whatsoever on any of this stuff so hopefully this helps you out and helps you make better videos so until next time i will see you all later 
Bye-bye.